Hello everyone. The reason that I believe in flat earth is because of simple logic and I want to explain this to you today. There's a basic uh, rule of propositional logic that goes as follows. It starts with this uh, propositional statement. If one thing, say P, is true, then another thing, call it Q, is true. And we write this as if P then Q. Let me give you a simple example. If you can hear me right now, then you have ears. That if you can hear me, that would be P. You have ears would be Q. And then by applying propositional logic, we know that if Q is not true, then P cannot be true. For example, we'll write this as if not Q, then not P. So in my simple example, it would be if you do not have ears, then you cannot hear me. I could also do it this way. I could say, if you can see me, then you have eyes. And it would follow then, if you do not have eyes, then you cannot see me. Now, let's apply this rule of logic to the flat earth debate. If the earth is a globe, then curvature must exist between a different point A and point B anywhere on the globe. So if the Earth is a globe, that's P. Q would be, then there is curvature. So consider a globe, point P being here, or say A, point A being here, and point B being here. Now, if we're on a globe, then there's going to be curvature, and you're not going to be able to see point B if you're far enough away from it. Okay? Now, the logical equation for that is if Earth is a globe, then there is curvature. And propositional logic then tells us that the following logical deduction is true. If there is no curvature, then the Earth is not a globe. It's very simple. Logic. Now we can find many, many pictures showing objects many miles away from the picture taker that show objects that would, would be below the curvature of the Earth according to the accepted mathematical formula, that the curvature of the Earth is 8 inches times the number of miles squared. These pictures show that there exists no curvature on the supposed globe. Thus, since there is no curvature, then the Earth is not a globe. And I want to just show you one short video that proves this. And this is a video taken of the skyline of Chicago over a 12-hour period of time. It's taken across Lake Michigan, so it's the picture taker or the video taker is very far away, 37 to 70 miles away. Now, these buildings should not be seen if we live on a globe. They would not be seen if we live on a globe. You continue to watch this. Nothing changes. You're not looking at a mirage. Now it's getting dark. The lights are coming on, and you see everything. You see the entire skyline of Chicago. Applying simple logic then, you see that we cannot live on a globe because there is no curvature. If you don't understand this, go back and read the small little thing I wrote about logic. Work it out with some things that you know. If this is true, then this is true. And then when that follows, if this Q is not true, then P cannot be true. Since there is no curvature, we cannot live on a globe. It's very simple.